Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we're going to talk about a new author to the channel, Zena Henderson. She was born and raised in Arizona. For most of her life, she lived in Tucson. She was born in 1917 and died in 1983 at the age of 65. She was a teacher, a teacher of elementary school. During the war, she moved to Gila Bend in Arizona to teach in a Japanese internment camp. This experience can be seen as a major influence in her writing. Starting in the 1950s, for three decades, her stories were published in science fiction magazines. She created a series of stories connected by the people. I have two collections of her stories of the people. The first one is copyright 1961, and it's called Pilgrimage, the Book of the People. And the second collection is from 1967, The People, No Different Flesh. Both of those collections were gathered in In Gathering, Zena Henderson, The Complete People Stories. This also included a couple that were not in those collections. This is published by Nesfa Press. New England Science Fiction Association. They are a great fan group who've produced many awesome collections. The people escaped the destruction of their home planet and crashed on Earth in the Southwest just before the turn of the century. Fully human in appearance, they possessed many extraordinary powers. Henderson's people stories tell of their struggles to fit in and to live their lives as ordinary people, unmolested by fearful and ignorant neighbors. The people are us at our best, as we hope to be, and where, with work and with luck, we may be in some future. Henderson's other stories were collected as well. In 1965, we have the Anything Box. And in 1971, Holding Wonder. I want to recognize the artist from this series of books from Avon. Hector Garrido is the cover artist for these four Avon books. He is also the artist for the variant cover that I have for the Anything box. I think this is one of those cases where the artist and the cover art match well with the stories told within. As far as I can tell, I have the complete Zena Henderson with these collections. Zena Henderson never wrote a novel. Today, we'll talk about The Anything Box. This is the first book that I've read of Zena Henderson. It is a collection of 14 stories in just under 200 pages. I want to highlight a couple stories. The title story, The Anything Box, is about a teacher with a class of young students. There is a girl within the class who has an imagination and she creates an anything box in her hands. It's an invisible box, but when she looks in there, she can see anything that she would like to see. Her imagination, the world is made right in this anything box, which is a counter to the world that she's living in. When students beside her notice that she's starting to zone out while looking into her hands, they mention it to the teacher. The teacher asks the student to give her the box and she puts it in her desk. There seems to be something almost physical, though, to this imaginary box. The teacher takes it out of the desk later, pretending to hold it, but as she pretends to hold it, it seems like it becomes something solid. And inside it, she can see some of her own dreams and hopes. Will this teacher explore further? Will she give the box back to the student? And if the student gets it, will they become lost in their anything box? This gentle, compassionate story has a bit of a hard edge on it, a bit of a horror edge to it. Zena Henderson's writing is compassionate and she has a voice for children. Being a parent, having coached sports and taught in schools, 
I think that this voice is a very authentic voice. In fact, it reminds me of Stephen King. Stephen King was a teacher and has written some amazing stories about children. In fact, I've thought of Zena Henderson as a kinder, gentler Stephen King. Her stories are science fiction or fantasy with a tinge of horror. They remind me of some of Stephen King's best stories about children. Of course, Henderson came before King. I wouldn't be surprised if she was an influence for him. I know that she was an influence for Orson Scott Card, him of Ender's Game fame. Anyways, back to the collection. The second story I would like to talk about is called Subcommittee. Aliens have landed on Earth and intend to take a stake on Earth. They're quarantined in a walled-off section. Think about Berlin after the war. Negotiations are going on. There's the threat that the aliens will just take what they want. Will we have to destroy their ships and these people? A boy has dug a hole under the wall and befriends an alien boy. Soon, he tells his mother about it, and she just happens to be married to one of the people, one of the officials who's negotiating for peace. She, too, crawls under the wall and meets the alien boy's mother. They are an unofficial subcommittee that makes a difference in the negotiations for peace. A child has shown them the way. Hush is a horror story. A child can't stand noise, so they invent or imagine or create something called a noise eater. But where does the eater end when it comes to people or noise on the street? Come on, wagon, is a story of a child with psi powers, the ability to make something move. This power isn't readily apparent, but one adult observes it. A couple years later, there's a tragic accident where a tractor is rolled onto a person. The adult asks the child to move the tractor off of this person to save them. Will this child, after a number of years, have matured out of the psi power? Or will the psi power be there and powerful enough to save this person? There are stories of teachers and children and aliens and far-off planets. Henderson's prose is simple and clear and affecting. I'm looking forward to reading her people stories. Many of the stories in this collection work well. I give it 7 out of 10. This is going to be the first video of a playlist called Author, colon, Henderson, comma, Xena. In here, I will eventually gather all the videos about the stories of Xena Henderson. Have you read Xena Henderson? What are some of your favorite SF stories about children? Let us all know in the comments below. Until next time, keep reading.